It's the talk of the desert with Paul and the Reed. I just love coming home at night. I turn around, she's a treasure. Everyone and everywhere I go, she's the talk of the desert. Now, here's Melinda. I am sitting here at the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center in Rancho Mirage, California. And I have the honor of Mrs. Frank Sinatra sitting next to me. And this is the eve of Frank Sinatra's 100th birthday. And I feel very honored to be here with you, Barbara. Well, thank, thank you, you for joining me again. I'm going to cry. But <laughs> no, thank I you. mean, the world has gone crazy over Frank Sinatra's 100th birthday. I know, it's true. What, do you, what would he think about that? Oh, he'd be thrilled. Yes. He loved being a, a showman. He loved performing. He, didn't, he never wanted to get off the stage. <laughs> he just loved it. And you know, most people I know in the business really do. They, well, I, they love it. They feed off the applause and from that love and that energy they receive from the audience. So yes. I, it I, just fills the room. It does. It's it does. wonderful. Well, I'm sorry I never got to see Frank perform uh, live. I've seen a, lots of videos of him, but I wish I would have. But I think his energy and his love for the audience filled the room also. It does. Yeah. It, it, even if we walked into a, to a Cracker Jack place, <laughs> the people would stand up and applaud. <laughs> and when I delivered his body here to be buried, the people standed, stood, oh, standed, Stood on each side of the road, applauding. It was just, I, could, I was in tears by the time I got here. I bet, It absolutely. just was fabulous. Well, and especially here in the Coachella Valley, this is where he lived for so many years. And that's and this is where he's buried, and this is where he wanted to be. This is where he wanted to be. He loved this area so he much. He didn't live here all the time. No. But he lived here. This was his, this is where he called home. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Well, we are here to celebrate the 28th annual Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational. Yes. And you are hosting again for the 28th year. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. And so. I'm only 22. <laughs> <laughs> Good comeback, Barbara. I'd also like to introduce Nelda Lentz, who has been your right and your left hand through all of this, but she's been producing the ladies' fashion show every year for uh, since we started. Since for 28 years. And, and I say every year when I get up, aren't you tired of me, ladies? This is the 28th the 29th year. I said, aren't you tired of me? And she tells me every day she's going to retire. And I said, you can't retire until I retire. You can't. <laughs> so she tells and me. And she's never going to retire, no. you know. So, no. <laughs> and next to beautiful uh, Nelda is John Thornson, who's the director of the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center. Executive Thank director. You. Executive director. Of the Children's Center. Thank you. And someone that we really rely on. Well, He's fabulous well and the, the and i'm not going to retire until these two retire <laughs> <laughs> i like your attitude <laughs> <laughs> but you feel like you're really you're making a difference here in the desert don't you oh. this facility this program is absolutely making a difference i mean uh 600 unfortunately 600 children come here every single year you know 30 or 40 new patients a month and uh they come here depressed and sad and uh, traumatized and they leave with the opportunity to be very healthy and happy adults so what Barbara started 30 years ago is absolutely amazing well it is wonderful and uh, why don't you tell the story that Patty Crusoe told us today uh, you mean the one about the little boy little boy in yeah. well one day Barbara and I were walking in the door every time I tell this story I tear up but we walked in, and this, there's usually a sofa here, and the little boy was sitting over here with his head down. And Barbara walked over to him, and he wouldn't put his head up. He kept his head down. And about six weeks later, she walks in, and he comes running over with his arms out. Now, that tells you we're now making that, a difference. That, that has to bring some tears to your eyes. Absolutely. We're making a difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had our self-esteem graduation yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? This week. Yeah. And okay. the... The look on these girls' faces when they're walking. And boys. And the boys. We had boys, too, this year. It's just amazing the difference between when they come in and when they graduate. 
I have been at some of the fashion shows yes. for the graduation. They blossom. And the first time out, they're kind of shy. They don't look at anybody. Second time out, they've gained confidence from that first time. Remember the little boy yesterday? It's fabulous. fabulous. Yeah. It is fabulous. Well, and, and, and this time we had a little boy that was so cute, and he went by Barbara and <laughs> hey, at least you know who to give the thumbs up to, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, but oh. he could do it. But he did it right. He didn't make a mistake. No, oh. he didn't. He, it was and fabulous. That was the message he was getting across. Fantastic. Was, and he was what was about thirteen or fourteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. But yeah. You know, anyway, I just wanted to mention a few more. We have some big celebrities playing in the tournament. Okay. We have Pat Boone, Bill Devane. And uh, I, Azar is the one you said, I don't recognize that name. You, he's what? Um, he's a country western singer. Very country nice, western. nice young man. Well, no wonder Frank wouldn't let me listen to that kind of music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, Tom Dreesen is playing in it. Tom Dreesen, who worked with us on state, well, Frank, with Frank. Yeah. I say us, but well, I'm there. You're there, absolutely. Yeah, but uh, he works with us for 13, 14 years, opened the show for Frank. And, you know, that's quite a stint. Oh, yes, I w absolutely. But well, he's probably the longest uh, working comedian with Mr. S yes. Sinatra, wasn't he? Yes, he yeah. was. Yeah. And he worked He worked first in, uh, I think it's Chicago. And he worked with a black entertainer, and he called themselves Black and White. And they worked as, an, as a t t duo. It was Tim Reed. Yes. This is yes. Yeah, Tom and Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tom and Tim. Yeah. And it, and they were fabulous. Well, you know the story. Well, well, I've interviewed uh, Tom Dreesen a few times, but because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> I adore him. But anyway, but it's a, but it's a great story. It is a great story. Yeah. Vince Ficarello. Oh, no, not Ferragamo. It's Ferragamo. I, I, I have another too, Vince. Too many Italians. Too many Vince's <laughs> in my life. Vince Ficarello is a fr is a friend and a buddy of both Frank's and mine. And uh, then Vince Ferragamo is a football player. And these are all stars. And, and how do you like this for a name? I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Raleigh, Raleigh Fingers. Great baseball player. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know all of them. And we have, oh, we have, well, I can't go along without mentioning Joe. Montagna. Montagna. I have too many Joes, too. And uh, then also Charlie uh, Passerell. Passerell is a great tennis player yes. and ran the tournament out there for a long time. There he goes, the shadow. <laughs> well, Joe Montagna is your co-host this year. Yes, he is. And he's such a sweetheart. And, and you know he's played in every one of our tournaments since we started. And he's actually a working actor. Yes. Yes. It's fantastic. Yes, he has a very important show on. Unfortunately, it's, it's very sad, but uh, it's, it's a good show. It is, very much so. Mm -hmm. But uh, I asked you one time, I don't remember who your co-host was at that year, um, why did you choose that person? And he said, because he's Italian. <laughs> and good looking. Joe Montagna is good looking and Italian. Yeah, right. Nothing Does wrong he cook? That. Does what? Joe cook? Every Italian man cooks, except yeah, for Jerry my, Vale. Well, Jerry Vale didn't have to. <laughs> That's right, he had Rita. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, they all are just such giving, yes. wonderful, warm, yes. beautiful people. Well, the 28th annual golf tournament is February 28th through the 20th, uh, February 18th through the 20th this mm -hmm. year, for 2016, at... Uh, um, Fantasy Springs. Fantasy Springs Casino, Eagle Falls Golf Course. That's why I started to say, and I got my words mixed up. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> Me too. And uh, we've got all these great celebrities who are going to come out and support you and the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center, and it's just it's and fabulous. And support the children. That's, That's right. the main thing. At, is we all do it for the children. That's right. And they are number one in our life. And what I really like is that all the money that's raised through the golf tournament and all of your other fundraisers during the year, it stays here locally. And no child is ever turned away. That's right. And it, it's free for them. Yes. If they can't afford it, it's free. Mm -hmm. 
Let's mention our fashion show. Oh, well, yes, Nelda, since you are the chairman of the fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. We have we, a I great show lined up this year. We have it, Grays on El Paseo are doing the show, and the owners are Marie and Kelly Gray, who started St. John Knits. Mm -hmm. In fact, Marie started s sewing knits in her own home, and they became so popular, she started selling to Saks Fifth Avenue and Neiman's, and it got so big that they finally opened a factory in Irvine. And now they're doing their own design, and we're thrilled to have them. And they'll be there in attendance. And they have wonderful ideas. It's wonderful. $125 a ticket, and yes. it's great entertainment. It's a great way to entertain your friends, and that's on Friday. Yes, and you get, there's a reception beforehand, lunch. and there's a fa lunch, and, lunch. And, and the fashion show. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's, what's, I'll tell you what's really nice is that a lot of us don't play golf. Now, I have all the things to play golf, but I don't play golf. <laughs> I can look really good. Oh, I've got the, yes, oh, the golf bag yeah. here. Well, this is actually, the golf bag was from the first tournament from 1989 that Frankie Randall passed away almost a year ago, and this was in his collection of golf bags, and I knew that Barbara would like to have this. That's so, fabulous. That's this so, so kind of the, yeah. first, the first bag the first from the bag. year, yeah. from the first year. From our first tournament. Yes. And did you mention who's going to be performing? No. Why don't you mention that? Are you? Oh, are you? Well, yeah. Well, I was going to say is what's really nice is if you don't play golf because there are different packages to to um, be able to support the children's center, from a hundred thousand dollars to I, I don't remember what the the smallest amount was, but thirty five hundred dollars I think to play yes, in the for golf, the golf spot. for the golf mm -hmm. spots. Um, but you can buy tickets to the parties. Mm -hmm. You can go to the Thursday night pairings party, and then Friday support the ladies' luncheon, right. and then Friday night is uh, another dinner. And always entertainment. And the Letterman are this year on Friday yeah, night, right. and they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday is the gala, and the gala is the fifth dimension. Yes. And I mean, you, you actually get a lot for you get a lot for your buck, money. and you can buy the individual tickets. If you can't come to all the different events, at least, and you don't play golf, at least you can come buy what you sure. can sure. You can afford to or what you can attend. And, yeah. there, and we have some surprises this year too. We do, so. do oh, we, yeah. John? You're mm -hmm. not going to tell anything about well, we surprises. Have an auction. Oh yeah, we absolutely we have an auction, and and uh, that auction raises a lot of money for the children. So. It's great. Nelda's done a great job of coming up with auction items, and Barbara seems to go into the closet and find something to Frank's, and <laughs> that obviously goes for big money, but it's it's great. Well, and, I like to paint. Some of his paintings, yeah. Yes. And I gave some of his paintings him. Yeah. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And then some of those paintings were turned into ties. Yes, and then also, you know, I got, like, um, what's it, um, who's, who's performing for us tomorrow night? Barry Manilow. Oh, Barry Manilow. Manilow called and asked if he could have one of Frank's paintings. Oh. So I have one to present to him oh, on beautiful. stage tomorrow, oh. night, tomorrow night. Oh, that's at fabulous. the McCallum Theater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Barbara. And you're going to be there. I'm going to be there. That's I right. Absolutely. I mean, the place to be on Frank Sinatra's 100th birthday right. is where Mrs. Frank Sinatra is, and that's Barbara. <laughs> so so I'm where going he to be there. was and is still. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, he's still he's here with He'll us. He'll be absolutely. there with us. That's yes. right. Yeah. Now, can you believe that Frank would be 100 years old tomorrow? I never believed he was ever going to. He always said that he was going to reach 100 so he could do a special party. <laughs> and I never ever believed him. <laughs> you mean that he wouldn't reach a hundred, or they wouldn't do the special party? Oh, I knew he'd do the special party. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so he's having that party somewhere. That's that's right. Up yes, there now. yes. Gold plated everything. I'm yeah. sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He and Jerry Vale are having a good time up there. That's right. Oh, I got to tell you the one story. I know we're late. No, but, that's okay. We're fine. But, uh, you know, I went to a party at the Hilton's, a Christmas party, I think it was. And uh, they had a, a seer there who would tell you about your future. And I didn't want a seer. I didn't don't believe in it and blah, right. blah, blah. So anyway, they talked me into it. And I went there. And as she closed her commentary, she said, Barbara, Frank and Jerry have been friends of yours for a long time. And they're going to be there. And they were, they were entombed up high. And so they, the two hummingbirds came into their tomb, and they were whirling all around them. 
And I said, look at that, Rita. <laughs> and uh, they were all around the, the two, and I said, they're with us now. Oh, absolutely. And I really <laughs> believe that. Well, for you, everybody in the desert, to join the party, the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Tournament, for playing golf or for one of these great events, and it's like old home week because so many of these uh, celebrities have been here so many times, and a lot of people who just attend because of the celebrity center yeah. to help support the Children's Center, mm -hmm. the phone number is, it's very easy to remember, it's 1-800-FS, for Frank Sinatra, STARS, 1-800-FS-STARS, or you go to the website, which is franksinatragolf.org, and the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center is Barbara Sinatra Children's Center org on the internet to find out more about the Children's Center. We'll be right back and we'll go to the second half of the show and you can tell me gr more great stories, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. Melinda and her guests will be right back. The Desert Symphony has something for everyone this season. Live entertainment supported by your professional symphony orchestra creates great memories for the entire family. Experience the finest musicians performing the classics, popular songs from theater, and even more from motion pictures. For tickets and information, go to thedesertsymphony.org or call 760-340-ARTS or 760-773-5988. Now, let's go back to Melinda and the second half of the show. Well, I hope you've had an enjoyable time with the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf uh, t show so far today because I have crazy people on my set, but that's okay because <laughs> I have Barbara Sinatra, Mrs. Frank Sinatra, which... As I number said, one crazy. Number one crazy. And I thought <laughs> I was the number one crazy. And Nelda Linsk and um, John um, Thorson. John Thorson. And um, anyway, but we're going to talk about, you have other fundraisers during the year. Mm -hmm. And on February 12th, we've got a special fundraiser coming up. It is special. Yes. Very special. We have a sports uh, special luncheon every year. And we have top sports people. And so far, we've had two of them that you will remember, one of them being Willie Mays. Yes, of course. The first one. And then the next one is this one, is Hank Aaron. And everybody knows who they are. Of course. If, you're, if you haven't lived under a rock somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> you know who they are. Yes, but Hank Aaron is going to be interviewed on stage by... By C Bud Seeley. Yeah. And Bud Seeley also interviewed... Uh, Willie, Willie uh, Mays. Willie Mays, yes. former commissioner of baseball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's fabulous. And that's February 12th. It's at 1130 at the Hyatt Regency Indian it's Wells Resort. It's a luncheon. Resort. It's a luncheon. And phone number, because it's not the 1-800 the number I gave earlier, but for luncheon tickets for this, it's 760-773-1636. That's not what I have. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? Six seven four eight four four seven. Your no, number is correct. I'm correct. Yeah, you're correct. That's the children's number. <laughs> children's that's that's number. crazy talking. That goes right to Laura Rogers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> but the tickets are one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and I think that would be terrific to see this great baseball legend. Yes. Yeah. Interviewed by the former commissioner of and baseball. And we have how many people do we have coming? We usually have six hundred, and we may break the record this year. Mm -hmm. We may get close to seven hundred people yeah, for for really it's did. it really is. And Hank Gershowitz is the one. Hal Gershowitz is I mean, yeah. Hal he's he's yeah. he's chaired it, but it, it's a great event. It's become an event, not just a luncheon. Um, we've had the USC marching band. We have the Palm Desert uh, boys baseball team because they always win the championship every year. They come and uh, they're there. They throw before the uh, throw a bullpen before the uh, luncheon out in the uh, parking lot. Not in the dining room. No, right? Not in the dining room. Uh, we always have a great singer. Um, sing the national anthem and, and, and great entertainment. Songs. Well, it's 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 an entertainment. Uh, plus, you're sitting there having uh, a 23 year career of Hank Aaron being the antidotes of him and Bud Seeley, who were very good friends. You know, Bud used to own the Milwaukee Braves or the Milwaukee Brewers, um, and Hank started in Milwaukee. Uh, that's where the Braves were, and then they went to Atlanta. So. 
Uh, Hank Aaron and Bud Selig have been friends for many, many years. It, it's it's going to be a very enjoyable afternoon. It sounds like it might be a very intimate interview if they know each other that well. It is, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Very intimate, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a great, great show. And what are some of the other fundraisers you, fundraisers you do during the year, Barbara, for this owner? Well, we do the fashion shows. Yeah. You had to ask me that. So uh, that I, I threw you off, didn't yeah. I? Yes, because we're here to talk about the golf tournament. Yes. Yes. Anyway, we do a lot of things to get the children involved. We have our graduations, and uh, that's a, the fundraiser. Christmas party. Christmas parties and the Easter parties, and we paint the faces of the children and ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really fun. It's, it's fantastic, Barbara, what you have accomplished with the help of like, people like John, who are the, is the executive John director. John has been major, major. Uh, John, how long May have you I tell you how, yes. how I met John? Yes, please. <laughs> I had fallen and hurt myself. Oh, no. And uh, could hardly walk. And I was living in a, hotel, in a hospital, in a hospital room. And so they, they brought the bed over to him in his place in his where you were staying where no i think what while well, they wheeled the hospital bed into her bedroom <laughs> in her penthouse in in beverly hills <laughs> and i knocked on the door i had been called by a recruiter and said would you come down and talk to mrs sinatra about this opportunity and i said absolutely <laughs> so i knock on the door and her son bob is there and he says okay we're gonna go back here i had no idea where, where i was going, going. <laughs> I walk back, I walk into her bedroom, and she's in bed, <laughs> holding Sir Winston and petting him. Yes, I love Sir Winston, yes. And she said, just sit at the end of the bed. I said, okay. <laughs> I, it was very hard to do because in this bedroom, I'm looking around and I'm seeing pictures of Barbara and Frank Sinatra with every pope, with every entertainer, <laughs> with everything. It was tough to pay attention, and she, she was absolutely lovely hostess and uh finally she said well i better take a nap now and i said okay and i said is there anything else i can say she said no you've said enough <laughs> <laughs> and you got the job yeah, he's didn't sitting you? Yeah, she called me the next day and, and he's been the best at what he does oh yes Fantastic. he's just wonderful yeah we're all Thank very you. happy about that's it that's probably the most interesting job interview you'll ever have <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. it's the From last job day. interview <laughs> i have <laughs> <laughs> remember i said i can't leave until they retire that's right exactly exactly <laughs> Exactly. Well, let's go back to the golf tournament. Again, February 18th through the 20th at Eagle Falls Golf Course at Fantasy Springs Casino. Yes. I understand. Tom Dreesen said from the stage one year, he says it's the best golf course he's ever played on. Every break blade of grass was in perfect position. I guess. Yeah. I'm sure they kept it up like that because yeah. Paul Ryan, who yes. really runs that. The manager. The manager. And then Grace, uh, no, which is Jay, Jay Chesterton. Jay yes. Chesterfield. They really work very hard with their people, and they're just great. It's like Mary Martin says, we have three days of parties, and we throw in some golf. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, or as Frank said, it's yes. Frank's little party in the desert. That's right, right exactly. Right. Well, you can tell it's definitely a party here, even on this TV set here right. at the <laughs> Children's <laughs> Center. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, Barbara, um, Tell me a little bit more about Joe Montaigne and why you did select him as your co-host this year. Well, first of all, he has shown up every single time to play in the tournament. And he has always brought people with him. And he's always handled it with great class and dignity. And uh, he's been a great asset for the Children's Center and for himself, sure. Of course. And we have now a, a garden that John has, has gotten planted here, and our children go out and take care of the garden. They started cooking classes, and they, they take cooking lessons, boys and girls, and it's really wonderful. Well, I was here when you opened up the garden a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was, that was a lovely ceremony and event, and I hope that it helps that, the children. That, that Frankie was on was Frank's here. birthday. Yeah. That was on that, Frank's birthday. That was birthday. on Frank's birthday oh, on, the, right. on December 12th. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Two years ago on Frank's birthday. Yeah. would have been his 98th. Yeah. Exactly. So, it was very special. Yeah. So, um, okay, let's repeat the information again. The 28th annual Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational is February 18th through the 20th at Eagle Falls Golf Course at Fantasy Springs Casino. 
The first event is the pairings party, which is Thursday night, and it starts at 5.30. And that's always just a lot of fun mm -hmm. and good food. Are you going to let us in on what the food is on these different well, events? Well, I know it's going to be Italian. It's, well, I had to figure <laughs> our that out. Our cook is, is Italian, and he used to cook for Frank when he worked in Las Vegas. Freddie oh. is his name. Oh, really? And he's fabulous, yeah. Now, have you got done your food tasting yet for the mm -hmm. tournament? No, oh. not yet. Yes. Our, food, our food tasting. Yes, we did. Well, we did a little bit. Okay. Um, and because, okay, so every night will be a, a, some kind of an Italian dish uh, mm -hmm. or multiple dishes. So the pairings party is at 530 on Thursday the 18th. Do you know who the entertainment is yet for Thursday yes. night? Yes, the Letterman. Letterman, that's, that's Friday, Friday night. night. Oh, that's Friday, that's Friday night. night. Uh -huh. Yes, I don't fifth think we dimension. Have Thursday, Thursday, Thursday night is a little bit different. It's more of a little smaller intimate party. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll have some entertainment that's kind of background music, but it's really about having the players get to know each other and just have a little cocktail hour and, and who they it's play fun. with. Right. Yeah. And then Friday's the first day of golf, and I think that starts at 8.30 in the morning. We usually shotgun. have a shotgun, yeah. And uh, then the ladies' fashion show now. Yes. Uh, yes, which sounds very exciting. Doors open at 12.30. 11.30, is it? Oh, 11.30, and the lunch is served at 12. Well, That's this right. Is, this is yeah. called the show of arguments. <laughs> <laughs> we get along great. We do. <laughs> hey, we want to get the right information now. <laughs> uh, but the ladies' lunch is going to be fabulous. And the tickets are $125. And then there's the party on Friday night, which then the Letterman are, is the entertainment for that yes. evening. Mm -hmm. And that starts at 5.30 also, and that's $125 per person. And then Saturday's the last day of golf, second day of golf, which, again, shotgun start at 8.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then the gala is at, uh, I believe, like 6 o'clock or yeah, at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. And, um, and you've got the fifth dimension for the uh, gala entertainment, which is fabulous. And the mm, auction. It's wonderful. Oh, and the auction. We can't forget yeah. the auction. Can't forget yes. the auction. There's a silent auction and there's a live right. auction. We can't forget one other thing. Yes, please, John. Sunday, oh, after the yes. golf tournament, excuse we have me, the me, great me. open house uh, here at the Children's Center. Um, Barbara is usually here. She'll sign her book. Um, we have a new Sinatra book that uh, uh, we'll be taking a, a donation for, and, and hopefully Barbara will sit there and sign a few. But I will, and it's, we're getting this. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great afternoon. We have wonderful docents here. Um, it's just a, it's just a nice morning. We have little refreshments, and we have kids running around, and and people take a tour. It, it's it's a really nice way yeah, to end great. up a, a great weekend. It is. Well, I want to. We have to mention Mar Mary Martin and Brett Coor. Who, the, Brett Kaur's mother has been with me since the beginning, and she's been very, very helpful. They run the golf tournament for right. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but, you know, I've run out of time. John Thornton, Executive Director of the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Melinda. Thank me. Yeah. <laughs> and Nelda <laughs> Lentz, thank you for joining thank me. Thank you. And Mrs. Frank Sinatra, Barbara Sinatra, thank you for joining me. And I thank love you. you. For, I love you, too. And thank you for all the, that you do here in the desert for and these And thank children. you for the golf bag, too. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, audience, for joining us. For more information, email TOTDTV at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web.